Hello and welcome to Dartside Scenics. I want to say a quick thank you to everyone because the channel has really grown since the last video. I haven't had a great deal of time for any modelling recently but decided to make a very basic diorama so I could test this product from Warworld Scenics. Starting with an old piece of board, I'm just keying the surface with a knife to help the glue stick. This is Gorilla Wood Glue and some offcuts of insulation board. You can use a hot wire cutter for this part, but I'm using a bread knife. This product is Sculpt Mold, which is simply mixed with water. This is added to the entire diorama, and then you can keep working it until you get the desired shape. This is a watered down brown acrylic, and you'll see I'm leaving a few gaps for rocks. For the rocks I've got a few different grey washes, and I'm using the leopard spotting technique. To ensure the water section is sealed, I'm using more of the brown acrylic paint, but this time it's not watered down. The next step is to brush on matte Mod Podge before sprinkling on earth texture. The majority of this earth texture is brown tilegrite, but it always gives a nice effect if you can mix it with a brown scatter. Using a dry brush, the excess is removed before adding watered down washing up liquid. Scenic cement is then used to hold it in place. With some scenic glue, I'm just randomly adding rocks of different sizes. I remember being fairly unhappy with the haphazard way I was dealing with this, but I kept plugging away. When the rocks are finished, I added some of these twigs, and that really gives a nice effect. Some green scatter adds a moss effect on the sides and then it's fixed in place using scenic cement. Now the earth texture is dry, I can brush on some WWS basing glue. This is 2mm dead static grass from WWS and this gives a really nice moorland colour. I tried to leave some gaps in the basing glue so the earth texture could show through the grass. The excess is hoovered up before moving on to the additional layers of grass. The layering spray is added in random patches and then I'm using some 4mm patchy static grass. And finally, the same process is used, this time with 4mm golden wheat grass. To prepare for the resin pour, I'm using some scenic glue and then some plastic sheet at either end. This is held in place with masking tape. Kitchen scales are a good way of ensuring an accurate measurement. You'll be needing two parts of the resin to one part of the hardener. The two are mixed together thoroughly and I'm also adding in some burnt umber acrylic paints from Vallejo. I'm just adding a very small amount each time to make sure I don't overdo it. For some more tips on this process I highly recommend popping over to the Peaks 47 channel. Sam's Crease is a really beautiful scene there so I'll put the link in the description. It is recommended that you prime the area first with a small amount of resin but I'm pouring straight in. If you see any bubbles within the first 20 minutes or so, you can get rid of these with a quick blast of a blowtorch. If there's a small lip at the end from the glue or the resin, this can be removed with a sharp knife. 
So the final product I'm using on this is the WWS Clear Model Water. This is brushed on and then you can blow through a straw to create the ripple effect. This product dries clear, so if you leave it overnight, it should be clear in the morning. These are some olive green bushes which I'm sticking in place with scenic glue. To ensure the bushes blend in, I'm using about four or five different scatters and then holding them in place with scenic glue. You'll often find that the resin soaks up the bank because of the earth texture, so I'm using some green and some brown weathering powders. and then just a final coat of scenic cement. To create the effect of fast flowing water, I'm just using some white acrylic paint and then dry brushing it onto those areas. I hope this guide was useful, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and thanks for watching.